Hello, I'm Nicola Thompson at Inner Vision Therapy and here's another video that I'm making to help us through these really difficult and anxious times with what's going on in the world around us and in this country with regarding the, uh, the COVID-19 virus. So what I want to show you today is how I'm going to complete this yin and yang um, stone that I've begun. Um, so first of all I want to talk a little bit about about what's going on in the world and, and how it's causing quite a lot of us anxiety. These are very worrying times. Um, most of us will never have experienced anything like this before um, and I think one of the one of the things that may be causing some anxiety is is the fact that so much of what's happening is uncertain and unknown and feels very much out of our control um, and very often when things feel out of our control that can that can cause or increase our anxiety um, so yes some things we can't control we can't control um, what's been said in the media we can't control who will get ill we can't control how long this will last we can't control um, how other people are reacting. But what we can do is keep in touch with each other, um, follow the guidelines. So we can control how much we interact with media and social media. At the moment, I'm watching the news only once a day because I have to keep informed and I'm limiting how much I use social media. I'm using it to contact friends, um, help people, um, learn things, uh, but mostly to keep in contact and see where I can help um, other people. Um, so another thing that we can control is how we look after ourselves, um, how we follow the guidelines, keep ourselves safe, um, stay inside where possible um, with the latest um, announcements about school closures and um, social distancing it's becoming increasingly difficult to go out and meet people and that can be quite isolating which can also add to our anxiety so the idea about this video is to help you hopefully have some connection. So um, by watching it, I'm, I'm talking to you. I know it's virtually, but um, I hope that is helpful in itself. Um, and what I want to show you is something that I think is really, really interesting. Uh, it's something that you can do yourself. You don't have to do it on a pebble, but you could. Um, you could do it on paper. Um, so it's a yin and yang stone. And first of all, I'll show you a couple that I've already done. So this was my very first one um, with, with, with gold and there's a little bit of glitter. Um, this was the second one I did. I took a little bit more time over this one. Um, and obviously yin and yang, I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute about, about what it means, but there's, there needs to be a contrast between both of the sides. Um, so this one I've made it, this side is, is very colourful. I've actually used the colours of the spectrum, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, which are also the colours of the seven chakras, if you are interested in chakras. Um, so those seven colours are still are in that, um, the opposite circle too. So those two that I did, um, and I'm done, gonna finish this one off, um, just using these three pens that I got from the stationers. Um, I've painted the stone black just so that the silver will show uh, a little bit more. And the idea about yin and yang is that it needs to be a definite contrast between the two sides. So one of them's gonna be quite dark and the other one is going to be light. Um, and there's a great Francis Bacon quote that I really like that says, in order for the light to shine so brightly, the darkness must be present. 
And I really like that because if you think about day and night, um, sunshine, we can only see the sunshine. Um, why can we see the sunshine? I've lost, completely lost what I was going to say. Anyway, um, hopefully it'll come back to me. Uh, so hot and cold, um, day and night, darkness and light, that's the one. So the sky outside is, if we go further and further and further out into the atmosphere, there is darkness. And so we see the sun because it's shining against that darkness. Um, okay, and also in, in um, Chinese philosophy, uh, it is very much about those two opposites, darkness and light, and that they complement each other. So how seemingly opposite things can actually be complementary and that one can't exist without the other and by the two existing together it creates something new and beautiful um, and in um, in the Chinese religion of Taoism if I can find the link that I had I will find it in just a moment for you um, it also talks about the two different things making one complete whole which I think both versions of the explanation about yin and yang are equally beautiful, I think. So I'm just going to um, have a go at decorating this one. Um, so on that one I did some some sort of flower type petals and then dots on the other side. So really no idea how this is going to turn out or quite what I'm going to do. I might, I'm starting off with some stripes. I think, and some dots, and then some petals are going to come from that. Okay, it really is entirely up to you what you do. You can create, I'm going to do dots there, okay. But it's another way of being still, being mindful. It's a way of uh, taking some time out from this very worrying time that we're in right now. Very worrying time. Um, and as I said, we can't control what's happening, but we can look after ourselves maybe this is a way of of doing that of taking some time out to create something rather beautiful um, that has meaning I think this has a lovely meaning the darkness and light and there's a I just remembered um, I don't know if you remember Tate and Lyle sugar cans there was a lion on there and some bees and the saying on the can was, out of the sweetness came forth strength. I think that's the one. So, yeah, darkness and light. A bit like the piano keyboard. I, when I'm explaining anxiety sometimes, or feelings, not anxiety, but feelings to clients that can't really, don't really feel in touch with their feelings, I often talk about the piano keyboard with the dark notes and the white notes. And the dark notes are sometimes a little bit discordant. If you played just the dark notes, it would be sharps and flats, and that might sound a little bit strange and possibly not musical. And then if you played all the white notes, they're the majors, I think. So it's a bit more melodic. So you could play all the low notes if you're feeling really blue and down, or you could play all the really high notes. But very off, but all those notes exist together on the piano keyboard. Um, I think I'm going to dot around here. I'm hoping you can see this. I'm trying to do it so that you can actually see what I'm doing here. Um, you can copy, you can follow along, you can do your own thing. I just hope it gives you an idea. Okay. Not quite sure what I'm going to do here, but I'm going to create a few more petals 
There we go. Mm. Random. There we go. I don't know. I don't quite know what that is. I think it looks a bit like, I'm gonna color that in because this is the light side and this is the dark. So I'm just gonna shade in those, doing it so that you can see, I hope. Shade in those little petals, there we go. Okay. So it is really very simple. If you make a mistake and you don't like it, I painted the rock black to begin, so I can paint out mistakes by using a black. Um, in fact, I'm gonna try that. I have a Sharpie. So I'm gonna try doing that with my Sharpie just to see if I can um, add a bit of definition here where I've merged that silver together. I probably should wait for the silver to dry, but I'm a bit impatient, so I'm gonna just go for it. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. That's a little better. I'm going to leave that circle dark. So you've got contrast. We've got dark and then light, and then we've got dark and then light here. So it's those opposites. Um, I'm gonna leave it there, I think. I'm not going to do any more to it. I was toying with the idea of using these two colours, but I think I'm happy with the the silver and the black as a lovely contrast. So I hope you like this video um, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>